time for the bell How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter But first, let's get the mindset centered Hey, hey, let's go uh, We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade We follow the plan, that's how we get paid Testing, trading, have success Find what works for you and forget the rest Stats and probabilities is what we're about Time to dismiss greed and doubt Focus on the process, not the money And the profits will flow like honey Power our live, let's start the show Come on trade hackers, get ready to go Zero day options, time to make bank Get locked and loaded, then be ready to blank Hey. What's up everyone, welcome to uh, September 12th Power Hour Tuesday September 12th. Hope everyone's having a good day. I uh, still got a qu uh, quiet lunch on. I got stopped out of my PM Iron Condor for a pretty decent loss. It was a, it ended up being a straddle at $4. Didn't really want to take it, but following my plan, I took it anyway and ended up getting stopped out. Uh, I did have a, this morning... A AM quick exit that did good. I had a Dick Case special that hit one profit target, got stopped on the rest, so I booked a small profit on that. Uh, JSPs got stopped for a small profit, uh, excuse me, a small loss, and got got out of half my quiet lunch here, and the other half needs a little bounce. Getting a little sell-off here. Looked like things were ripping higher, and then they just fell apart. Pull, pushed right up to yesterday's close, almost to the tick. And now we're at new, fresh session lows. So, I need to buy some longs for tranche one. And looks like we're going to get a uh, pretty low premium straddle here for tranche one. How'd everybody else do today? Kind of a mixed bag. I'm pretty much, uh, as far as zero DTE goes, I'm pretty, pretty much at a scratch. Maybe a little bit red. Actually, with this last little push lower, probably a little bit red on the day now. Zero DTE. Down slightly, yep. <clears throat> Dick K flying back to Florida. Looks like he had a very good day. He must have got in just slightly different than I did because I got stopped out. It looks like he hit all three profit targets. I, w I waited a little bit on mine. Well, I'll show you after I get into tranche one here. Got about a minute. Looks like it's going to be the 4465 straddle. Forty four sixty five straddle going in. Try 
trying to get filled for 665. Filled at 665 for tranche one. Ken, your lucky day. That's good. I like a good lucky mistake every now and then. So take a look at my time fly here. I was really wanting to get out of this thing before CPI tomorrow, but I'm going to hold it. We got we're pretty well centered. Nice range. When I originally put it on, I was hoping to get it off for CPI. Then we made the adjustment, which always adds a little more time. But barring some unforeseen event, should be okay. Put on a new duck today in the October 4 cycle. It's a little bit lower than we were, where we put it on. I did not get filled on a zero DTE duck today. Price kind of ran away from me. Ended up getting in on the puts, but not the duck. Couldn't get the premium I wanted. Fish, what did you get filled at? Did you, well, first of all, were the shorts... How wide were they? 10 points, right? 10 points apart. And then what, what premium did you get filled on? Cause I, I was trying to get at least 575 and I couldn't get filled. Five fifty four. Okay. Yeah, I, I have a minimum premium of five seventy five on mine. Yeah, so I'm bouncing around that level. Oh, let's see. I'm using the same strike as my quiet lunch, so let's bring that bad boy over here. So on my analyze screen, I can see it all. So I put on a one, two and a one, three B and B this morning with the, and I put them on with pretty good size with the intent of closing out the majority before the end of the day, regardless of the P and L one's up. The one, two's up about four fifty to 500 bucks. The one, three's up 350 plus. So I did 12 contracts on the one, two. So I'm going to, I'm going to close eight of 12 and then I'm going to close four of six on the one, three. 
what what I like to do on these days where you've got an event like CPI the next day is get them on. And then a lot of times you can hit a 10% profit. I'm not at 10%, but I'm going to, um, at least I don't think so, but I'm still going to close a chunk of those out because that was the intent to begin with. Let's see on the one, two, I got in at six bucks. It's currently trading at 640. You probably get filled at 640. So I'm going to go ahead and put in an order at 660, which would be 10%. Then I'm going to come back and close it later today if that doesn't hit. So I'm going to close eight of 12 on my one twos. SPX new low on the day. And then on my one three, I got in at 12. Currently trading at 1250-ish. So I'm gonna close four of six. I'm gonna put in an order at 12, 1275. And I'll come back and get that filled if that doesn't hit. Just posted that in the calendar chat. My quiet lunch is still intact. Did not get stopped. Apple releasing their new iPhone today, I hear. 
It's all Apple doing. She going down, down two and a half percent. S&P's down 27, NASDAQ on 180. Russell is flat. Dow is flat on the day. S&P and NASDAQ taking the brunt of it. VIX up almost 4%. Bitcoin up 4%, back above 26,000. Just can't get out of that little range, can it? We are going to need a little bounce. My remaining quiet lunch stop is at 18. Oh, geez. I forgot to reduce my stop. No wonder you got stopped out and I didn't, Ken. Oh, boy. All right, so I just need to exit. Yeah, I should have been stopped at a long time ago. All right, now I'm out. Still a profit, I think, but I should have been stopped out. At a better price than I just exited at. Yeah, VIX 1D up 31%. I don't, I still don't know what that means though. It just starts low and goes up every day. Have not found anything useful about VIX 1D. About six minutes until tranche two. Looks like we're probably going to have another straddle. Still within the expected move, both to the upside and the downside. Got within a few points, four or five points of the upside, and we're within about four or five points of the downside. Uh, I, for, I hate when I forget to reduce my stop on those quiet lunches or any of those that we reduce stops on. It's a killer if you don't do it. 
just as far as the overall metrics of that trade. All right, I'm gonna buy some longs for my tranche two. I'm not gonna buy any puts. Don't need any puts. Let's buy, buy a handful of calls. All right, so closest to three bucks is 4460 straddle. Give it a couple minutes. Thank you, Ken. I appreciate that. I've always got you, Ken. If anyone else, if everyone else ignores me, I know I've got Ken. And I've got Wooga waving from a boat. Wooga, you need to throw that wife beater in the laundry. It's going to get a little soiled. Oh, yeah, that's true. Vegas Michelle, you got me there. <laughs> All right, looks like the 4460 straddle for tranche numero dos. Try to get filled at 595. Filled at 595, 4460 straddle. All right, so we got the 4465 straddle and the 4460 straddle. So, hey, uh, Wuga and who else was talking about it yesterday? About the doing two straddles versus inverted. The other thing to consider, which I didn't even think about mentioning yesterday, but like I did today, you know, I've got. I do a different number of contracts on the different tranches. So that's going to, 
that's going to make a difference too. Right. Yesterday we talked about if you, you know, if you do a straddle at one strike and a straddle at the, at a nearby strike, it's the same as doing inverted, which we don't like to go inverted, but if you do two straddles, it's the same thing. We talked about, but if you're managing those as two separate trades, then in my mind, that's, that's a different, a little bit different ball game. And then I, I didn't, I didn't even think about it, but the position size of each comes into play as well. As you can see here, I got 16 on one and 10 on the other. So that's a little bit different as well. Cracking new lows. Still got a few dollar buffer on my tranche one stop, but could use a bounce. <clears throat> Oh, got gotcha, you, Wooga. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I guess if you're talking about doing it as one trade and you're just kind of hovering in between the strikes, that's a little bit different than doing a couple different tranches like I was just mentioning. Yeah, for sure, Elliot. Not not necessarily how I want to manage power hour, but yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. CPI tomorrow pre-market, PPI on uh, Thursday pre-market. So we, we won't be streaming zero DTE tomorrow morning at the open. Chad will be doing the, Chad will be doing his live stream, but we'll, we'll be streaming for power hour tomorrow. In fact, we won't be doing zero DTE live streams in the morning the rest of this week, but we'll be doing power hour.
Five minutes until tranche three. Got my lungs ready to roll for tranche three. <laughs> Will somebody post a few things in the community so that Wuga's Forrest Gump will scroll off my page? It's making me dizzy. <laughs> All right, I guess I could just uh, lower my height of my app. There we go. Thank you, Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> some of those memes when they you know every time you click on it it's going crazy it's distracting me out of the corner of my eye i'm trying to place orders over here and i got wuga waving at me frantically <laughs> i see you wuga i see you It's all good. I just uh, squeezed my Discord app down. All right. A couple minutes here till tranche three. Looks like we may have a little five point strangle. SPX making a new low. How low will she go? Forty four sixty, forty four fifty five. Tranche three straddle. Oops, that's not what I want. Tranche three, five wide. 60, 55s. Trying to get filled at 315. Filled at 315 for tranche number three. All right, Let's see if we can hold up here. Got to hold. Tranche one, my stops at 1065, spreads currently trading at 875.
I don't have any music, but that's that's gonna have to do. <laughs> oh, Johnny Two Lot. It's all right. Looks like it could be a good choice at this point. Get a baby bounce, little baby bounce. Forty four sixty is my sweet spot. Ken, if you could lock in the forty four sixty pin, that would be great. Andrew K, I tested my previous idea of exiting BNBs later in the day. As long as it expired to big events, averaged around 23% profit between one, two, and one, three. Okay, so you did that today on today's, on this morning's you held. Oh, wow, my six, seven is up a lot more than it was. Nice. I keep forgetting about that, Andrew K. You're going to have to remind me earlier. <laughs> I've been wanting to do that with partial, just to watch it. But you've brought it up now several times, and it seems pretty solid. 
and it makes sense too. All right, so my six, seven. Got in at four thirty. Mine's not quite to twenty percent. I'll put my order at five ten on my six seven. Close twelve of sixteen on that one. Nice little bounce in SPX back up to forty four sixty. I'm going to close. Uh, so I've got <clears throat> 16 contracts on my 6-7. So I'm going to close 12 of 16 at 510. Yeah, Andrew K. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it a practice of doing that same thing. Close part in the morning and then close half later if the longs are on a day like a CPI. So tomorrow, I mean you've got the longs on PPI on the one two. So I'm gonna make myself a little note to try it out now. Back-to-back -back CPI and PPI may be a little different story, but I'll still try it. Plus on Wednesdays, oh no, that's on Thursday, so never mind. I was going to say on a entry on Wednesday and exit on Thursday, it actually tests better to hold anyway.
<laughs> Elliot, I just got a message from the moderator saying you were attempting to send spam messages with all your with all your dots. You're just trying to help. You're just trying to help out. I don't know why the why the moderator is so mad at you. It's poking the bear. Poking the bear. All right, we can just hover around this area. Another 20 minutes. Let's see, I better scope out my entry prices here. So tranche one. Six sixty five. So at four bucks, I need to reduce my stop on tranche one. Tranche two, I got in at five ninety five. So I'll call it three fifty five or trunch two. By the way, I just, um, I never, I, I know I've seen it before, but I just kind of realized it again today for the first time. In TOS, if you go to activities, monitor activities and positions and use the working order drop down there, it actually gives you a column that shows what that spread is trading at. Whereas if you were to go to account statement, working orders, it just has the price. It doesn't have the, well, that's my filled history. But if you go to working, see, it just has the price that you got in at. It doesn't have a column for the mark. But on the activity and positions one, it does. And it updates live. And I always used the other screen and kind of forgot about this one. It's kind of nice though. So like, for example, for tranche one, I'm looking for four bucks. It's currently trading at 560. Oh, something got filled. That would be my... It's one of my calendars. Closed four of six. That was on my one three. All right, so just posted that. That filled at 1275. <clears throat> That's good.
my uh, my one two, which is trying to close eight of twelve at six sixty. It's currently trading at about six fifty, so that one could hit as well. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, it sounds like some of you guys are already, uh, already using this, but okay. So it's, it's, it's easy for, for this, you, you know, it's, it's even, I don't know, it's almost easier than charting my option spread. Cause I can just look right here. Whereas I was charting that to keep an eye on it. But, uh, so here for tranche one, it's currently trading at five 30. I'm looking for four bucks. Tranche two, I'm looking for 355. It's currently trading at 430. So new little trick that I'll be uh, taking more advantage of. I don't I don't know why I never realized it before. I guess I always thought that the columns on this version were the same as this version, but they're not. I did not reduce stop on tranche one yet. I'm looking for four bucks. It's currently trading at 480, 450, 460. Gets down to four bucks. I'll be changing it to my stop to seven. Trying to two is trading at four twenty. I'm looking for three fifty five. about 16 minutes till the bell. So tranche one is the 65 straddle. So if we keep pushing up towards 65, that should, uh, should get down to four bucks. Four twenty, four oh five, four dollars. There it is. Reducing my stop on tranche one down to seven. All right, now we can just settle, 
settle and crawl back down ever so slowly. down to four, back down to 60. All right, so tranche two, I'm looking for 355. Getting close. Three seventy. Three sixty. Three sixty five. Another couple of ticks out of there. 360, 355. All right, reducing my stop on tranche two to 555. Nice. Always feels good to lock in a little. Going into the last 12 minutes. All right, 11 minutes to go, six minutes to exit. Yeah, Frank D, that's, that's, uh, it's in my trade plan. If you check the, uh, you can just look at my option Omega sheet or link in the, in the trade plan, but it's, um, yeah. So I've started for the month of September tranche two, same thing. If it gets to 40% of credit received, then I will reduce it from three to two on tranche two.
Getting a little bouncy. My little kid in the bouncy ball is a little too strong, maybe. Simmer back down. Four minutes until I exit. Just funnel right on back down to 4460. Oh, I got filled on something else here. Another calendar. That would be the... One, two, I that one filled. All right, two minutes till I exit. Start working my orders up. Just a little, just a little pullback, if you don't mind. If you could be so gracious. All right, it's getting stronger. A few seconds till I bail. Out of tranche three at 460. Out of tranche two at 445. Uh, tranche one's the one I needed the continuation of the bounce. So I waited till last. Now it's that one's pulling back on me.
I had a Tron 1 at 305 and 310. All right, all three winners again, my friends. Let's see what the uh, final tally was. All right, in it, 665 on Tron 1. Out at 310, 305 and 310. Nice winner there. Tranche two in at 595. Let's see. Let's tranche three in at 315. Oh. Yeah. 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 No, no. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Tranche three in at 315 out at 460. So that was a loser. Tranche two in at 595 out at 445. So net net winner. Awesome. Power hour came to play in September, my friends. Had to take a little pause in August, but been a good September so far. Good, good, good. All right, my friends, have a good evening. Take care. We'll be back again for Power Hour tomorrow. Cheers. Have a good one.